I'm fortunate enough to be in downtown Lubbock, my home state, in the Buddy Holly District, in an old warehouse that's been turned into a fabulous art gallery. I know there's a lot of people in this gallery that are artists. I just don't consider myself an artist. I consider myself a crafter. Hidden amongst the whimsically decorated bicycle wheels hanging inside the Glassy Alley Art Gallery are shelves lined with books. But these aren't the works of James Patterson or J.R.R. Tolkien. They're created by a crafty writer. Janet Ryder, that is. You do everything with books and reading. What's your last name? Ryder. Not writing, but writer. Writer. Mm -hmm. A crafter. Have you always been crafting? Oh, yes. My little mama started me out when I was eight years old, folding out of the old Reader's Digest an angel and a Christmas tree. And there is an angel that she taught me how to do. I lost the original in a fire, but from then on, I these fingers have to be busy doing something. And busy those fingers have been. She spent years perfecting the art of the folded angel and Christmas tree. But it was volunteering at the library that inspired her to create her novel novelties. Where do these books come from? I worked as a volunteer at the library, and they were throwing these books away, Ooh. and it just crushed me. So because I'm a scrapbooker and I have fonts of all different things, I went home and I thought, I'm going to figure out how to do this. So I go to the library whenever they have the Friends of the Library sale, the end of every month, and I buy a minimum of 100 books. Then I go grab one and grab a pattern and start folding. Measure, then fold, measure again, and another fold. It's tedious, meticulous work, where each page is crucial to the overall design. But Janet says nothing soothes her soul like folding a few hundred pages a day. This is awfully tedious. It's almost like a math equation or something. You enjoy that? I love it. When I've had a bad day at work, or out shopping or whatever, I can go in and get in my recliner and sit in about 15 minutes, the day's just melted away. I love it. I enjoy it. It's very relaxing. A lot of people say, you know, wow, where did you come up with this and how can you stand it? How long does it take you to do it? Depending on the word, this one is one of the most difficult, most pages, five to six hours. So I have that long to unwind. <laughs> <laughs> From hope and peace to even names like Warren, Janet's given numerous books bound for the dump a new life. It's become her greatest pastime and her strongest connection to her grandmother. This is my little mama. That is her 90th birthday. Do you think about your grandma whenever you're All the time. I miss her something terrible. I was the oldest grandchild, and so I was the first one with the driver's license at 14. And so I got designated to go get her and take her to the grocery store. And I can just hear her this morning say, you go girl, you kill them, knock them dead. Your grandmother, if she could see what you're doing, with what she taught you. What would she say? I knew you had it in you, you just had to find it. Janet Ryder never knew those first few folds with Mama would lead her down a path to saving literature. Yet each of her books is transformed and given the chance to tell a new story. What is the reaction? Oh my gosh, <laughs> how did you do that? It's like teaching a child you know, something they've never seen before. 
What does that do for you inside, though, when you see that reaction? It makes my heart flutter. It makes me happy. Because, you know, we don't have an awful lot in life to be happy about. We have to make happiness. And I think that's what I'm doing when I fold these books.